beautiful weirdos or like beautiful pricks. And I'm wondering if like, you know, by 89 or so, you start being like, where is this coming from? Why are you guys reaching out to me for, the, for these guys? Well, interesting you picked 89, because in 88, I got sent a script and people were saying, you know, people are turning this down all around town. And I said, great, perfect for me. <laughs> and so I took it and read it, and it was uh, Sex, Lies, and Video. <laughs> Which is the sort of taking that idea of the, what you were getting typecasted and turning it into something so much more sensitive and beautiful. It's it's one that's one of my favorite movies. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I interrupted you. Sorry. No, no, no. I don't know where I really or whether I was going anywhere with that. But uh, I don't know. I, as I said, I, I didn't have a plan, and I don't really have any reflection on the work that I've done. Uh, you know, I remember the work that I've done for the doing of the work. You know, the memories I have on the film have very little to do with what the end result is, because ultimately, I don't really have much effect on the end result. I just have the, the work I do is the pieces that are all over the editing room, you know, and some of them are on the floor and some of them make it into the picture. but. Um, so when I look back, I don't look at the films. I look at the, sh the filming of the films, and that's my memory of them. So I very often will have a great memory, like a much more sort of present memory of uh, a film that maybe nobody saw or somebody, you know. Or, uh, like, back uh, backstage there, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, we were looking, and there's a wall of a whole bunch of photos of different people, I guess, who have been here. And I saw a picture of Josh Brolin, who I worked with on a completely forgettable picture years ago. And I don't know if it ever even opened, really. Um, it just was, I think, spat out into the atmosphere. <laughs> We had a fantastic time. I just adored Josh. He's one of the funniest people I've ever worked with. And we just laughed until we cried. And the experience of shooting the film was absolutely indelible in my memory. We had the most incredible, like we'd show up one morning and our set had been completely destroyed by a sandstorm. So we just sort of fucked off for a while. <laughs> you know, I mean, it just was unbelievable. And then there was this one sequence, we're trying to move this truck that it seemed like we took like a month just trying to shoot that one sequence. And yet, it wasn't as if we were going and get moving forward at all in the sequence. It was like we'd go back to square one and sort of shoot the thing. I don't know, I don't have no concept <laughs> what the director, but we were on board for it and having a ball doing it. The film was, I mean, we were a complete and utter mess. We never even finished shooting it, really. Uh, <laughs> really? But not really. I think they went back and sort of put in some pieces and filmed a few things so, so they could cobble together some like semblance of the footage. story. <laughs> I mean, they, they, whatever actors they could persuade to come back in or whoever wasn't busy or something, they brought them in and sort of cobbled together something out of it. But I remember being out in Lone Pine, California, rented a house out there, Josh had rented a place, and us out there just really having a ball in the desert, hanging this thing together, eating smoked oysters, Hanging around. Having a good time. Having a great time, really a great time. So that's my memory of a film of which I don't even know the title. <laughs>